What's up, my Sin City crew? I'm back again with another video, you guys. Today, you guys, I'm just making a little spaghetti. And I'm going to show my gifts that I told you I had to send to some of my supporters. So, I will be showing you those. Even though I did uh, put them, the pictures on my community post. But, I'm going to do it again. But, I'm going to cut my bell peppers and my onions over right quick, y'all. I might not go through the whole video, you know, as far as getting done with the spaghetti. So, but I'm gonna show you most, mo the most part of it. So, anyway, how's you guys doing today? What's today, Saturday? What's today, Friday, Saturday? Friday, It's Friday? Yeah. Yeah, it is yeah, Friday. It's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. September. Ah, I'm behind, y'all. What's up with that? Mine gone. You know, when you're on work and stuff, you know, it's hard to keep up with the dates. Because, <laughs> look, it just be going by. And you be in the house doing what you do or whatever. Or out or whatever. You know, only the working people really be uh, keeping up with the dates. Because they know they got to go to work the next day or whatever. You know. Not saying that's a good thing not to have a job. It's a good thing to have a job. A great thing, as a matter of fact. But, anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to... Cut these onions and bell peppers up, and I'm gonna do a little spaghetti. But before I do that, I guess I can go ahead and show y'all a little bit of what I was talking about before I do all this. This is the purse. It's a Brogman's purse and a little wallet, y'all. It's really cute. And uh, I've been had this for like what two years going on? Probably got two years. Yeah, I got it from Dillard's two years ago. And the wallet. And I was telling y'all about the little Yeezy slides. They're like a five and a half. They're not the ones that I had on. Uh, these mad. You see mad? So, these are another pair that I had. So, if anybody uh can wear a five and a half, y'all hit me up or whatever. I'm going to send it to somebody. Anyway, now I can wash my hands and get started. I hope everybody doing good. Happy Thursday. Yep. I didn't feel like that baby today. You been out? Oh yeah, you been out. You went to the store. I didn't feel like that. Uh huh. Is it really, really hot or what? Uh -huh. it's, it's nice. It is. It ain't piping hot. It ain't piping hot? Yeah. But it's good. Because yeah. we got to get out, y'all, for a minute when we finish, when I finish cooking. He yeah. ain't cooking. I'm cooking. Not today. He said he wanted to do some stir fry later. So he might be cooking, too. I wish he would do a video. Yeah, I'm amazing. That'd be some good. I like when he cook. He a pretty good cook, I must say. I'm not gonna do a lot of spaghetti cause you know, I'm not, well, I eat it on it for like three days or whatever. Well, I don't like to switch up because he have to do videos and stuff in there. So, I understand that. I eat on it, my daughter eat on it. So, but I'm not gonna make it. That much. But I love my bell peppers and my onions. Though. I like a lot of bell pepper. I like a lot of onions in my spaghetti. Hey, did you bring the roll tail? Ah, you forgot? Hey, yeah. Hey, no. yeah. You need it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. They probably have it next door, babe. I think yeah, that's what you got right. it from the last time, didn't you? No. You didn't? They did have none. Well, don't worry about it. I can cook it without it. Yep, so, yeah, I just was, uh, I just want to bless somebody, you know, with something. The people that really been supporting me, you know, and having my back, uh, because uh, YouTube is not an easy job, you know. It's not easy to get up here and do videos every day. And for somebody to always be positive, you know. So, yeah. I appreciate, you know, the people that's really been uh, dealing with me and uh, having my back, 
and I always have. I know I turn my comments off. That's only because somebody, you know, uh, they put our address in the comments, y'all. I mean, if it was you, you would do the same thing. It's just people are so mean, and they don't understand the severity of putting somebody's address in, you know, on social media. You know, that's just wrong. You know, how would, how would you like somebody to do you like that? You know, it could be crazy people out here, and it is. So, yeah, I did cut my comments off. And I'm going to turn them on when I get good and ready. You know? Yeah, I know it might be unfair to my true supporters. But like I said, my true supporters, they, they know how to get in touch with me if they have something to talk to me about. You know, if they really want to say something to me, they are, they, most of my, my supporters are my Facebook friends as well. The people that really, really uh, mess with me. Uh, a lot of them are my Facebook friends. So, with that being said, uh, yeah. You know, they know how to uh, reach me, get in touch with me. We talk on a daily day. So, uh, I ain't worried about that. I'm worried about my address getting put out, you know, and, and, and my well-being, my safety, me and my family's safety. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about none of the rest of what people are talking about, you know. This is my decision. I, I'm sticking to my decision to when I want to do something. You know, you going to the store, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Your feet hurt? My knee. Your knee? Is that from walking? Uh, I it's, don't know. Uh, uh -huh. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. So yesterday, um, in Carrierville, they had a, a a massive shooting at, um, uh, at the Walmart in Mississippi, in Bahia, Carrierville. So that's not a Kroger that, it wasn't Walmart, I'm sorry, it was at a Kroger, y'all. I'm saying misleading information. It was at a Kroger, forgive me. It wasn't Walmart, because Walmart is the place that me and Walter always go to. But Kroger is the place, I think I've been there probably once or twice, but that's not my favorite store to go to now. If I go to a Kroger, it's gonna be the Kroger in Memphis. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Walmart, it was Kroger, y'all. Let me get that right. Yeah, I know my little man messed up. Then I'll, I'll say things and I'll catch myself. But yeah, it was a, it was a massive shooting. 13 people were shot. Uh, two people passed away. I think it was a person that was shot and the, the shooter, he uh, he committed suicide. He shot himself, killed himself. I don't know if he killed his, shot himself or not, but he committed suicide, so. And I heard that it was a, a employee that had got fired or whatever. But you know what, y'all? Ain't, ain't nothing that serious. You know what I'm saying? You can go up there and kill people and kill yourself. You can find another job. You can find another job. That's not. It's not that serious. Well, not with me anyway. You know what I'm saying? I guess some people do take their job serious. And maybe, you know, that was his only income or whatever. And he didn't feel like doing another application going through the process and then he probably had been there a long time but it's still not that serious you understand what i'm saying i don't think nothing is that serious you know i just don't i just don't i don't i don't see it being that serious where you going out you know killing people innocent people at that you know what i'm saying people 13 people come on now. I, I i know 13 people weren't involved in you getting fired you know what i'm saying so i just didn't see the uh the, you know, the reason for him to do all that or whatever the case may be. But some people, like I say, you know, I know it's hard times out here. I know people, you know, they don't have money to pay their bills or whatever the case may be. They might be struggling or anything. But still, think before you make that move, you know, because it could cause you your life. You know, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm hot, yeah in this kitchen. I got my spaghetti already uh, done. I had boiled my spaghetti a little while ago. So now I'm just doing my, uh, like I said, my bell peppers, onion, then I'm going to saute them. Then I'm going to do my ground beef. And it'll be ready. So, y'all, I was thinking this morning when I was just laying but I, I want me some, um, uh, dang, uh, 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 there go my mind again. Um, I told Walt. Wow. It's the, uh, I think about it, y'all. I ain't gonna even hop on that. My man's so crazy. But I'm doing good. 
feeling good today. I feel good. We are gonna go and uh, go out for a minute. We got some things we have to catch up on. So, but before I, you know, go out, I want to make this spaghetti. But when I get back, I know I ain't gonna feel like uh, doing no doggone spaghetti. So we are gonna eat a little bit, put some on our stomach before we leave, you know. And that's all I wanted was some spaghetti. I don't, I can't eat that meat. Now, I, I'm telling y'all, I we went to the grocery store last month and we got so much gross because i ended up buying a deep freezer y'all and uh we got so much food and there's a lot of that food i can't eat because you know of my cholesterol but yeah it's crazy so i got to you know what i'm saying go and give me more food that i can eat like a lot of fish that salmon and stuff like that yeah so cut my onion up now y'all and I don't do my onions really, really small. I just cut them up. Because, uh, you know, when you saw them, they're going to be soft anyway. So, you ain't got to cut them real, real small. Well, I'll be sitting there cutting his onions small as heck. I'll be like, babe, why are you cutting them so small? But I understand. Everybody cook different, you know. Everybody cook their own way and the way they want to cook. You hear me? A lemon meringue. I want a lemon meringue pie, y'all. That's what I was thinking. I want to fix me some lemon meringue pies. And I never knew how to fix them. So I'm going to Google uh, the recipe and, and learn how to cook me some lemon meringue pies. I want to cook me two of them. And I love lemon meringue pies. I used to date this guy. His mama used to fix me some lemon meringue pies. And I used to fix the Kool-Aid pies for him and his mama them. And they cooked me a uh, lemon meringue pie. Man, them things be so good. She like... I think she's like 89 years old now, something like that. But I'm talking, she was, she was like, shoot, 80, 82, 83 then, you know what I'm saying? And when I tell you this lady can cook, I'm talking on Sunday, she cooked full dinners, y'all. Be cooking and fix them lemon meringue pie. They be so good. I used to beg him. I said, tell your mama fix me some lemon meringue pie, please. And she liked it my Kool-Aid pie. So I, I said, tell her I'll fix her some Kool-Aid pie. She fixed me some lemon meringue pie. And she, I mean, when I tell you, that was the best. I ain't that lady could cook. I'm telling you, and she's so sweet. She is so still to this day. She like 90, I mean 89. And when I tell you she the sweetest thing, she a real sweetheart. My onions and bell peppers, y'all. So, I'm going to cut my, ow. think about the purse in the wallet and the uh, ye uh yeezy slides so which i think is those nice little gifts to give my supporters or which i think then i got another supporter i'm gonna give her money you know because you know i, I just appreciate everybody y'all i appreciate them i appreciate people you know and i didn't ever i never gave a giveaway before you know what i'm saying uh, when I can't give away money, I can give away nice things. And my and everything that I give away, it will always be nice. It will always be something that I will want to accept from somebody if they gave me something nice. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing that I, I wouldn't give somebody something that I didn't want or wanted to accept. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just how, the type of person I am. I have always been like that. I'm going to always be like that. And no one can change me. You know, I'm just... I'm just that type of person. I've been saying I was gonna give a, uh, give people giveaways and stuff, give my supporters some little gift, you know, stuff. So now's the time that I want to do it. You know, it's the time. It's the time. It's the time. You this is what I want to do because I do love my supporters. They support. They support me. I got good people in my corner. I got more love than I have. Hey, you can believe that. And I don't care what nobody says. I get more love than hate. So th for that reason, I do what I do. Because I can. Pull my shirt down. Y'all see I done lost a little weight? Huh? I'm trying to lose. Naturally walking every day. 
because I can do that. You hear me? I don't have to do all that extra stuff. I can just walk and exercise and run around the house with yaya. And I just, you know, and eat right. Eat right, drink a lot of water, eat right. Do your little exercise, walking. See, I watch a 600 pound life. My 600 pound life on, uh, what's that, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. My 600 pound life. So, TLC. TLC, I watch that. So, it gives me ideas of how to naturally lose weight. If you can go from 700 pounds to 160 pounds, I know that the you know the weight loss do help a lot, but some of these people get down to 500 some pounds or 400 some pounds before they have the surgery. And if you can lose three, four hundred pounds by yourself, I can lose. I don't need to lose but like 60 pounds. You know what I'm saying? If that. So what I'm trying to say, if these people, and that's why I, I learned from them, you can 1,200, 12,000 calories a day. You know, no sweets, no potato chips, none of that junk food. And drink your water. You can lose weight naturally. You know. And that's true. You can lose. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it the natural way. Because I'm scared of surgery. I ain't going to lie. I have always said I would. I don't care if I become a millionaire tomorrow, next year, or year after next. I'm not having surgery on my breast. I'm not doing surgery on my stomach to get it put in my butt. I'm not doing none of this. You know. And I'm speaking for me. I'm not speaking on nobody else's behalf. I'm talking about what I won't do. You know what I'm saying? People do what they want to do in life. And I respect anything that people do to get where they want to be. Now, you know what I'm saying? I respect that. I'm not, I'm not, you know, talking about anybody negative. I'm just saying, if that's what you want to do and that will rock your boat, then do it. But what rocks my boat is just to naturally, because I've never been this size before. I've never been this big. I have always been a small, you know, frame person. But my mom is a big ball. You know what I'm saying? So I know that it's in my genes, you know, to be a big ball. So I have to do what I have to do to stay, you know, at a decent size. Anyway, I know I'm probably never get to where I was when I was younger, but... I will get to that point where I can stay healthy and to a, a, a you know a nice size. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to do. I'm not trying to get no 600 pounds. I don't want to be like that. And I said that once before. I don't want to get to that point where I have to uh, uh, lose two, three hundred pounds, then go do have surgery because you do have to be at a certain weight to have that weight loss surgery. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, doctor, now I'm gonna make you. He's gonna make you. Lose that weight. You're going to work for his surgery. So, and I understand that. I truly understand that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I don't want to ever get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if my health will let me have that kind of surgery. So, with that being said, I'm 52. So, I'm just going to try my best to just, you know, stay at a, like I said, a decent size and a healthy size. The only thing I want to do is be healthy. And like I said, if that rocks your boat and that's what you want to do, you know, hey, have at it. But I prefer to lose the natural way and just, you know, keep exercising and walking. And I dance around her. I turn my little music on and I dance, you know. I dance in the kitchen because this is what I do. A lot of people don't like when I do, do it. But dance, what I do. And I don't have to have no music because I can just dance and be cooking, doing all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. And I'm trying to help somebody. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, bash nobody because what you do is what you do. You know, I had nothing to do with that. But when it comes to me, I do what I want to do. And that's what I do. So anyway, you guys, like I said, this video wasn't, you know, intended for me to just do the whole cooking thing. I really wanted to come and show you my little gift that I want to give my supporters. Uh, and yes, of course, I'm doing my spaghetti. But I don't want to do too much because I don't have a lot of space in my phone. Y'all know I be dealing with this little crazy... Uh, uh, my, 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 my storage be so full or whatever the case may be. But anyway, you guys, I love you guys. I love my supporters. Y'all know I do. And I'm going to do more as I go. I'm going to do more for you guys. I know y'all don't ask me for nothing. I promise, though, none of my supporters ask me for anything. You know, they're always doing something for me. And I just want to give back what I can. 
I don't have much, but what I do, I like to share. And I love you sharing is caring.